Hi you guys, thank you for watching Cooking with Amy. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but yeah, I was running a little late today. All right, so we are making pho, and we're also going to be making a dessert as well, because tonight I wanted to blow my nephew's mind on how you can make a healthy brownie. Yep, because he had commented saying that you can't make a healthy brownie, but yes, you can. So we're gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna blow his mind and hopefully blow everyone else's mind too on a healthy brownie. But we're gonna get started with our pho. Now, if you don't know what pho is, pho is a soup. It's like a, um, I believe it's a Vietnamese um, soup. So we are gonna make that. Um, it's pretty simple and pretty easy um, on how to make it. So right now, um, because part of it was you have to kind of warm up some of your, um, your onion and your ginger. Whoa, that just totally steamed that up. So see that, see there's the ginger in there and then there's the onions. So, now you can put, so some of the recipes I wish I was looking at, you can actually put, um, put it on broil and put it in there and cook it. I am actually just gonna, I just put mine at 400 and I'm gonna cook it in there that way. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that just because I wanna get started on some of the other stuff. So this is some of the other ingredients we're going to be putting in here. Now there's one ingredient that I don't have and to be honest, I'm okay with it, but I just, it's not something that I had in my kitchen and that I use a lot of. So in the oven, we have our ginger, or it's a ginger root, and then we also have our onions. It's just a yellow onion, it's just cooking in there. So in here, I have a cinnamon stick, I have a star anise, I have, and I'm looking at these because I want to make sure I say them right. These are coriander seeds, and this is a, hold on, because one recipe had this one and it didn't. Okay, so this one here is, this one, this seed, is a black cardamom. So I'm using a black cardamom. I asked one of the girls um, at the Asian market, because that's where I kind of get some of this stuff. Um, there was a regular cardamom and then there was also a black cardamom. So I was trying to find the regular cardamom in these little bags because to be honest, they're a little bit cheaper if we do these. Hi Jennifer, thank you for watching. Um, and I asked her if there was a difference between the regular cardamom or the black one. She says, for, cause I told her I was making pho. And she says, no, there's no difference. So we're gonna be using a black cardamom. Okay, let's get this pho started. So, what we're gonna do is, um, like, like I said, in our oven, we got the other stuff cooking. So in a medium um, stock pot or a pan, I'm using my cast iron pans. I'm using these babies. I'm using this guy. We are going to show you my messy kitchen. We are going to go ahead and all those spices that we have, we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna kind of wake, wake up some of that flavor. I'm just trying to look. We don't. Okay. All right. We're going to turn this on real quick. Give me one second. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cinnamon, put it in here. We're going to take the cardamom, the coriander seeds, and the star anise and put it in here. Now the other, the other ingredient that I don't have is, um, oh my God, what is it called? Cloves. I didn't have any cloves, but that's okay. I'm, you know, if I'm skipping that one thing, it's okay. I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna stress over it. So we're gonna wake these up. We're gonna wake up the flavors. We're gonna let them bloom a little bit. So I have them in a pan. There's no oil or anything. We're just gonna put it in here and we're just gonna let them wake up. We're gonna let that go. Um, to be honest with you guys, it's a really simple, easy recipe. Um, with pho, you can put other ingredients in it. You can put, you take, Sorry, I'm stuttering over myself today. Um, you can take a hard boiled egg and put it in there if you want for one of your toppings. Um, it's pretty endless. So you can even take some, um, what do you call it? Um, hot sauce, which I don't do hot sauce, but you can take that and put that in there if you want. I was trying to look to see if I had some over here. Um, you can do that. So let me tell you some of the other ingredients that we have. So we are going to, oh, let me tell you this too, because I thought these were, these are perfect. So I thought I was going to be um, using this. Hi, Stacy. Thank you so much for watching. We're making our pho tonight. So we have spice bags 
And I thought I was gonna use these tonight, but when I was kind of looking and we have to bloom our um, seasoning, like what we're doing right now. Um, normally, if you wanna take some spices, if you're making a soup or whatever, and you don't wanna have to strain it, you can take these cute little spice bags, put everything in there, and then put it in your broth and cook it, and then take it out, and you're good to go. And I believe, um, I'll have to look on these. You can probably reuse these if you want, if you wanna take them and just throw them in the wash, because these are like a, um, it's 100% cotton, there's, you know, they're just simple, there's like, um, yeah, they're just simple and you can just do them. So anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there. You can do that as well. So I like to try and use as organic as much as I can. Um, just because I like to try and keep things healthy. When I was looking, I realized I didn't have enough broth and I went to the store real quick and I don't know what it is with beef, but beef is pretty much gone off the market. Um, so I ended up grabbing another thing of beef and it's not organic, but you know what, that's okay. I didn't have time to run up to Trader Joe's and get another one of these, but again, that's okay. And then for our noodles, what I did, like I said, I like to go into the Asian market that's close to me, and I got some little Asian um, rice noodles. Um, these ones are gluten-free. They're also the thin ones, um, and this is what they use for their pho, so we're using those. And then we have our oyster sauce. Oh, wait a minute, I think I was supposed to use a different one. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I was supposed to use fish sauce. So we are switching it up tonight and we're using oyster sauce instead of fish sauce. Oops, that's okay. We're experimenting and we're having fun. Okay, and then also in the recipe it says for some light brown sugar. I don't like to put sugar in my food just because I am diabetic. Even though this one here says it's only two tablespoons, for me two tablespoons really, really spikes up my sugars. So I'm not putting any sugar in mine. Um, and then also too, it's asking for some coconut aminos. Um, well, or soy sauce. I'm using coconut amino. You can, you know, swap it out for each one that you want. Um, let's see what else. And that's pretty much it to make um, the soup itself. Now for garnishes, you can use whatever you want. You can use jalapenos. I don't do anything spicy because I just can't do spicy anymore. Um, but I've got some cilantro, which is really good. And then I have these little organic sprouts. They're a mung bean sprout. So these guys. So we're gonna put those in there as on top of it. Um, you can take some limes, slice them up and put them on there and see what else do they have for garnishes. Um, let's see. Okay, garnishes, so limes, you can use the bean sprouts, you can do jalapenos, you can use Thai basil, cilantro, and you can also use mint. Um, now I do have some mint that's out in the garden, but I don't wanna put mint in this. Um, I'm just gonna keep mine kind of simple. I'm gonna put my favorite um, garnishes on here. I'm just gonna do some lime, which I haven't tried it with lime yet, but I wanna try it with lime. And then just with my cilantro and so on. Okay, let's check on real quick. We're gonna check on our, um, on all of our goodies up here. So there's this, I'm gonna show you that real quick. And I'm just gonna move these around a little bit. I'm still kind of waiting for them to wake up. And when you start smelling that yummy fragrance, then you know they're, they're waking up. <coughs> okay. So we're gonna get a facial here. All right, so with, with the onions, what you wanna do is see how they're starting to get nice and charred. That's what we're looking for and that's what we want. So, and then same thing with the ginger back there. We wanna kinda of like have that little charred look. So we're gonna leave them in there just a little bit longer. Um, like I said, in one of the recipes is, or um, one, of the, one of the instructions that says that you can actually put put it on broil. I didn't want to do on broil because if I'm talking to you and that's on broil, I didn't want it to burn. So we didn't do that. So since we're waiting, we have a crazy light in here. Sorry guys, this light keeps going off and on. All right, so let's see. We are gonna go ahead and kind of start chopping up some of our garnishes. I am going to grab, did I? Nope, I didn't. We're gonna grab a bowl real quick. Sorry, my house, my whole pantry is over here in front, front of me just because we have little critters, little ants that have decided to come out. So, 
Oops. Before they um, decided to get into the food, I had to I had taken everything out of the pantry. So um, we put some stuff in there to get rid of them. And so far it's working. We just have to make sure that it's cleaned out and, you know, put everything back. So right now we're kind of crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and take some of our garnishes. Now I'm gonna use the lime that's a little bit more mushier because it's gonna get the most juice out of it. And you guys know when I do my limes or my lemons, I take them and I'm just gonna roll them. And that's gonna help release some of the juices. So when we squeeze it into our soup, it's going to be delicious. So I'm just gonna make little wedges in these. I need to sharpen my knives. There we go. So I'm just gonna make a little garnish thing over here. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Let me put you down a little bit. All right, so all, I'm gonna, all I did is I cut it in half and then I'm gonna cut it in half again. You look at some of those juices already coming out. And then there you go. You just got your, our wedges. We're gonna put them in our bowl. And then what I'm going to do too is I'm gonna take some cilantro. I am doing just a little because I don't wanna waste all of it. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this up a bit. You can leave it whole if you want. I want mine chopped up a bit. So we're gonna put that on the side for garnish. And then I'm just making a gar I'm, whoops. I'm just making a garnish bowl. So then I'm gonna take some of my beans here. These are gonna be so good. I really can't wait for this. I'm gonna take some of our beans. I'm gonna put a lot of those because I, I really, really like these. So we're gonna put those in there. All right, so we're good. We're gonna go ahead, let me bring you guys back up here a bit. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get our water boiling for our noodles because the rest of it isn't gonna take that long. And then we're gonna get started on making our Sorry, I kind of lost you guys. Um, we're gonna get started on making our, I'm just making sure these are waking up in here. Okay, it's getting, it's starting to get warm in here. I just kind of had it low a little bit and I turned it up. So we're gonna get that going. Let me get some water in our pot real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, and one of the other, uh, God, I can't even speak today. I have the stutters. I've been like this all day. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, well, the other, the other ingredient that we have that we're gonna make this is, I'm doing a beef one, and that's why we're doing the beef broth. So I also went to Trader Joe's, and I love that they have this. They have the shredded beef, so I went and got some shredded beef. That's also gonna go in here, because like I said, I'm doing a beef one, just because, I like my beef. I do. I really, really do. So we'll put that in here. Okay, so these are starting to waken up. I kind of see they're starting to get a little bit of coloring on the corianders. Let me kind of show you the coriander. Oh, I just heard a pop too. So see on these here, I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but see how these are getting a little bit darker colors right there, that one. So, ooh, and I can start to smell it too. Yes, I'm, oh. That is smelling delicious. Okay. We are waking these babies up and that's what you want. You wanna wake these babies, you wanna wake up all of that, just to release, start some of those oils, release all of that goodness in there. Mm. Oh Lordy, this is gonna be good already. All right, so since we have this, the next step is, I'm getting my, I'm getting my cheat sheet because this is my first time, all right. Okay, so let's remove, since we're gonna let that cook just a little bit more, we're going to remove from the oven, because I believe they're done, we're gonna remove our onions and we're gonna remove our, um, we're gonna remove our ginger. So I'm gonna take those just the way they are, minus the parchment paper, we're gonna put those in there as well.
Okay. All right. We're going to put those in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these onions. Let me kind of show you what I'm doing here. Hi, Jacob. So we're making pho for dinner tonight. So, as you can see, I'm just going to take these and kind of break them up a little bit. Now, in one of the, the other directions I was reading, you can take these onions if you want to and the ginger. You can actually do it in a pan if you don't want to do it in the oven. I just figured it would be easier to do it in a pan. So I just want to break these up because I want all of that flavor to go everywhere. I'm going to flip it back this way because it's easier to do with two hands than it is with one. Oh, yes. So we're gonna start with one thing of broth. I'm gonna start pouring our broth in here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I am so glad I went back and I got another box. Because to be honest, I don't think that would have been enough. Nope. I mean, I love beef broth and I love this kind of, this this kind of soup I like. I like brothy soups. All right, we're gonna put this one in here. Ugh, this looks so delicious already, you guys. Oh my goodness. Have you, did you like it? Did you like it, um, Jacob? Did you have you liked the pho? Oh yeah. So I'm glad I got two of these. So two of these will make a good size. If it's like you and someone else, and you're gonna have the big bowls, this will last me for a while. So I'm good. All right. Let me see what else it says. So it says ginger water. Okay. Stir knees, close. Cook. Okay. All right. So we're gonna add the soy sauce, the fish sauce. We're adding everything in here now. Let me get some of that so and well instead of fish sauce we're using oyster sauce my 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 bad but that's okay okay so for the do, 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 coconut aminos we're going to do one so we're going to use a quarter cup yes we're going to use a quarter cup of coconut aminos so these ones, like I said, I do measure this stuff out, especially when it's my first time making it. And since this, since this is my first time, we are measuring. Sometimes I'll put a little extra, but that's okay. And like I said, if you want to use a regular soy sauce, you are more than welcome to. I like the flavor of the coconut aminos. It's not overpowering. It isn't, doesn't smell, or it doesn't smell. It doesn't taste so salty. All right, and then let's see what else are we going to do? Coconut fish sauce, brown sugar, okay. All right, and then this one here, pretend this is our fish sauce. We're using, using oyster. We're gonna do two of these babies. Whoops, one. Get all that goodness in there. Mix that baby up. That onion's going to give it some flavor. All of these star anises, this, well, the oyster sauce instead of fish sauce. The coconut aminos is going to give it a yummy flavor. All right, I think that is it. All right. Let me just double check here real quick. So again, this is also when you would add, if you're gonna add sugar to yours, this is where you would add your sugar. Like I said, I'm not doing sugar because I really don't, I don't like to add sugar to my stuff. Um, let me see, fish sauce. Okay, that's it. So guess what? We're gonna let this cook for a minute. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and then we're gonna let it sit for a minute. So now we're gonna get started on our dessert.
move some of this stuff real quick, so give me just a second, because we need some space. We need some space for what we're gonna make next. So again, we've got our toppings ready. We've got this, this, and this. So this is um, our noodles, our parsley, and our lime. Let's get you back up. All right, let's move some of this stuff to the side, and then we're gonna get started. Oh, and that's gonna be for other stuff. All right. We're just gonna move that stuff out of the way. Yep, I don't think we need this anymore either. The only thing I'm gonna need is this knife. Okay, let's put this stuff to the side and let's grab. So I don't have a food processor, so I'm gonna use my Ninja. Um, it, it'll work fine. Oh, let's get the water going too. Let's get this out of the way so it doesn't catch on fire. Okay, let me get these on here in a minute. But our broth is cooking. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick a lid on it. And I'm not gonna put it all the way on there, I'm just gonna put it on as a tilt. Okay, again, like I said, we're gonna use my Ninja. Um, Cause if not, I have one of those, just those little mini mini choppers and that's not gonna be good for this. Now, if you have a food processor, you, like I said, you can use your food processor. I'm just gonna be using my little Ninja. We'll just keep that up there. All right, I'm gonna move on to dessert. I hope my nephew is watching. Okay, now for dessert, we are going to preheat our oven. to 350 so it's already at 350 but it's actually at 400 so we're gonna let it cool down a little bit so on this one here it's going to ask for a um, large ripe avocado we are going to do one I'm hoping these are ripe I mean they're firm but I hope they're, they look good on the inside they do I just had to grab my spoon real quick. So all I do is I cut it in half, go around it like so. We're gonna scoop it out. You don't have to cut it up or anything. Plop it in the container. I'm gonna scrape, make sure I get all of those goodies out. I might do two of these. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. I might wanna do a little extra. So the other night I did another experiment. So I've been experimenting kind of for some stuff on here. Um, I did make another brownie that was out of bananas. Same thing, it was flourless. And these are all paleo. Um, they're not gluten free, but they're paleo. Um, and that was pretty good. It was like with bananas, vanilla. And I think like there's a, a I know everyone's on this huge kick of the collagen powder. So I have some collagen powder that I usually put in my coffee um, when I have it. And I had some, so I put some of that in there. And let me tell you, it turned out really delicious. It was really good. Um, tonight it also was saying, asking for um, these little chocolate chip things. I just don't know what I did. I have some chocolate chips. They're sugar-free. They're by Lily. Um, they're by, oh, I don't have it. Well, actually, It's by this company. They're really good. I love this stuff. Um, they're keto friendly. Uh, now these are a little bit melted, but they, they're peanut butter ones. Since I've had my surgery, chocolate hasn't been really a big thing on mine. Before I used to always want to have chocolate, but when I do have that craving, these are perfect to go to and I love them. I don't have that side effect of a feeling that I feel sick to my stomach. Um, and I mean, they're perfect. They're perfect for anyone that's diabetic. These, 
and they have chocolate chips that you can buy if you want to you know keep it keto friendly these are this this company is really good okay all right back to our goodies so we're gonna do a half a cup and I think hold on starting to get a little bit goody it's starting to get where we wanted to go okay so we're gonna do half a cup of cocoa powder and the nice thing about cocoa powder you guys there's no sugar in this if there is if there is um, yeah there's so with cocoa there's no sugar we are the ones that add sugar to it so okay, I said half a cup all right, there's our half a cup. We're just gonna take, I'm gonna move you guys this way a little bit. So what I'm gonna take and just pour. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm pouring the cocoa in here. I need a spoon. Make it easier and I don't make a huge, huge mess. I'm probably still gonna make a huge mess. Yep, I am. I'm just getting that cocoa everywhere. That's okay. All right, that's good enough. We're gonna plop that in there. Okay, and then it says add two eggs. Well, we're gonna add two eggs to this. We're gonna actually whiz this up a bit because I'm probably not following the directions. Um, let's see, in food processor or blender, place avocado, eggs, vanilla, maple syrup. Okay, no, I am. I'm doing it right. Let me kind of move you guys back so you can kind of see all my pieces that are part of it. All right, we're gonna do another egg. Put it in there. All right, let's see what else. So eggs, the almond butter. Now the almond butter is a quarter of a cup. That's probably what I have left in here. So, let's see if I can... so, okay, I have to say I'm really bummed. So I had gotten these cute little spatulas and I had one that kind of looked like a spoon. It broke it. I can't remember what I was doing, but I was doing something and I broke it. All right, so yeah, that's about a quarter of a cup. We're gonna add this in here. Now this is not as runny as it normally should be just because I had stuck it in the fridge. So it's a little bit thicker, but that's okay. Oh, this stuff is so yummy. Get all of that goodness in there. Don't waste, don't waste nothing. Get it all in there, yeah, don't waste. Okay, I hear our water boiling. Let's check that out for a minute. Oh, oops, I was tried rotating. Sorry, I grabbed my phone too fast. Okay, let's check this out real quick. Okay, it is absolutely boiling like we want it to. So, I'm going to take this turn it down a bit because we want it to simmer a bit our water still hasn't boiled yet but that's okay so I'm turning this down a bit to let it cook but I don't want it to overboil. okay back to the other goodness okay, so we're done with this okay let's see what else and then we want a third cup maple syrup so the other the other brownies i made you had a choice of either using maple syrup or um honey so i used honey on that one and then i actually to be honest with you i was i was actually going to do that one with the maple syrup but i didn't silly me so i added like maybe about two tablespoons of this to it Probably should have added a little bit more, but it was still good. 
Okay, and then let's see. Okay, coconut oil, how much coconut oil? About two tablespoons of coconut oil. All right, let me find my measuring spoons. Get my measuring spoon and I'm washing off the oyster sauce because we don't want that mixed in with it. Fish sauce will not taste good. Or oyster sauce. I didn't even say that. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce would not be good in brownies. Just saying. Okay. So how many coconut? Two tablespoons. And thank God because that's the one that we use. Woo. Okay, so there's one and two. All right. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this one. Okay. All right, so this one here, it says to whiz up. We got all the goodies in there. What did I do with my spatula? Stuck it in the sink. I did. All right, I want to get some of this stuff down. So in our goodness here, we are going to scrape down a bit. But when we do this and we we process it, we want it to do it until it's nice and smooth, like a really nice smooth texture. So we're going to do this. It's going to get loud for a minute. use our spatula and we're going to scrape the sides down. I feel like I need a booster seat for this. I feel like I'm so short. All right, look at this goodness going on in here. All right, let's mix this up a little bit more. Like I said, we want to get a nice, smooth texture. And in, in the recipe or in the, the directions, it says you're going to have to scrape it down a bit and then keep doing. So it's starting to get that nice, smooth texture in here. And like I said, you just gotta scrape down the sides a bit just because you wanna get that in there and make sure that it's definitely getting all of that goodiness in there. And I will show you in a minute on how beautiful this is becoming. I mean, look at that. See, it's getting smooth, but not 100% yet. Okay, so our water is almost starting to boil for our noodles. So we'll give this another real quick whiz. Okay, so. Okay, add, oh, whoops. We were supposed to add cocoa powder afterwards. Oh, well, that's okay. So we are now going to add some salt. We're gonna do a nice little pinch for good luck. Then we are going to add, what was the other thing? The baking soda. I needed to. All right, so let's see, baking soda. And it says baking soda. We need a quarter teaspoon. Just make sure that's dry. Take a quarter of a teaspoon. 
teaspoon going in there. And then let's see, add cocoa powder, bake, oh, so this is one we were supposed to add, okay, I'm sorry, my bad. We were supposed to add the avocado, eggs, vanilla, maple syrup, and coconut oil, then process it. Then now we're supposed to add the cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, almond butter, and so on this one here, if you have the chocolate chips, and I, you know what, I wish I found them, but I didn't. And you're supposed to add the chocolate chips to it, and you're gonna blend them in here. And then afterwards, when you pour it into your baking dish, you can add more of the chocolate chips. Like I said, I couldn't find mine. All right. We're gonna hold off on that just for a second, and we're gonna add our noodles to our bowl. Let's do that real quick. Oh, thank you. So I was, they were saying that they were congratulating me that I'm an excellent cook. Well, thank you because since I've been doing this, I have been experimenting and really getting myself out of my own little box. So really thank you guys for doing that because I normally wouldn't cook half of the stuff that I'm cooking. So thank you. All right, so we're gonna put our noodles in here. We're just gonna dump the whole bag in, why not? Probably should have gotten a bigger thing, but that's okay. Ow, that's hot. All right, let's get this. Again, I should have used a bigger pot. That's okay. Get it in here real quick. Maybe I should have broke these up. Oh well, they're getting in there now. They're getting flexible. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let those cook and let's go back to making our... That was fast moving, guys, sorry. All right, back to all of this goodness. All right, so we did the salt, the baking soda, almond butter, let's see, and chocolate chips. Okay, that's it. So with those two ingredients that we added in there, we're gonna go ahead and whiz it up again to get the rest of the ingredients mixed up in. Okay, oh my goodness, that is looking delicious, you guys. I am trying to scrape down some of these sides. Make sure we get all of the goodness in there. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna grab a spoon and show you how nice and smooth this is, because it's really smooth. And to be honest with you, it tastes pretty good too. This almost looks like pudding. See how nice and smooth that is? That's how you want it. That's the consistency that you want. All right. Mm, that's really good. It almost tastes like that chocolate pudding that I made before. Let's get our pan. So in our pan, what we wanna do, and I should have had this prepared beforehand, but I didn't, and that's okay. You guys can go through the process with me. Let's get some of this stuff out of our way. Checking the noodles real quick. I just want to stir them up a little bit to make sure that they're not being stuck together or being stuck to the bottom of the pan. But let me bring you guys over here and show you what I'm doing. So 
like a very bad host of me. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure, this is my first time cooking these kind of noodles. So I kind of see that they look like they're being stuck together a little bit. So I'm gonna stir them up a little so they can kind of break up because that's what we want. And I think these are done, but I'm gonna let them cook in there a little bit just because I want to make sure that they all break up. And with the directions that I was reading on this, it said that when you, they want they want el dente. So I'm assuming this will be el dente. All right. Let me. Well, I don't have our big strainer, but I'm gonna use this strainer. I'm gonna bring you guys over here real quick. All right, so we are going to drain these real quick. I'm just gonna pour it in there. That's perfect. Okay, good. For some reason, I was thinking this was all sticking. Not a whole lot stuck, so that's good. So in here, it says to You want to stop the noodles from cooking. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take some cold water. Let's see if you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Take some cold water, put it on here, and rinse them. I'm just gonna take my hands and kind of Pull them up through here. Oh, these are feeling good. Just because I want to get it nice and cool. Now, don't worry, they're going to get nice and warm again. I'm just going to see them. I'm break some of these. See, they're just like regular noodles. They kind of get clumped together. Let's break them up a little bit. Look at that. Okay, now that they're nice and cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the bowl real quick, so hold on, because I'm gonna need this drainer for the soup. Okay, we've rinsed this off real quick, because what I'm gonna do is with our soup, we're gonna have to strain it. This is the only one that I have. Well, actually, well, yeah, no, because I need both my hands, so. Bear with me, how am I going to do this? I didn't think this far ahead. Hold on. I need to find a way to So I went and I got my other one. This is not quite big enough to go across, but you know what? We're gonna make this work. I'm actually gonna leave that on. I'm gonna remove this baby. had to cool off this lid a little bit because I didn't want it to melt anything that was in the sink if there was anything in there. All right, I'm looking for some hot pads. So what I am going to do is I'm going to try and take this and pour it in the strainer and get all of those little spices in there. because we don't want the spices in our soup. Or keep the spices in here. So hold on, let's see if we can get, oh my goodness.
honest, you guys, this smells so delicious. You guys just do not know how delicious this smells. It smells amazing. All right, how am I going to do this? All right, you guys, I'm trying to be smarter and not burn myself. So I'm going to grab this strainer. There we go. That is exactly what we needed to do. Oh yeah. Now I do see one little spice in there, so we're gonna take that out. One got away, but that's okay. I got it. All right, we're gonna take this, put this back on here since it's already warm. Cause we still wanna keep, sorry, we still wanna keep the soup warm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these noodles pour the noodles back in here. Now there's two ways you can actually do this. You can take the noodles if you want, put them in your bowls and do it that way if you want. But what I'm gonna do real quick, so I can get that off. Mm. My gosh, you guys, this is gonna be good. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna take our beef. Now I am gonna take some of this beef, I should have done it before. I'm gonna season it a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here. Now it doesn't say to do that, but I'm gonna do it myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that around a little bit. And I'm gonna stick this meat in here and let it cook for a few minutes. Now, the other way to do this is you can actually could have kept this and put it in your bowl and then did it that way. I'm doing it this way, just because I wanna make sure the meat is cooked. All right, sorry guys, just needed to wash my hands real quick. But again, we're gonna take this, cause it should cook pretty fast. Cause it's, I mean, look at, look at this beef. This beef is really thin. And that's what we, what we want for this. So I had to wash my hands again just because I touched the wrong meat. And while we finish up with our dessert, we're gonna let this kind of finish cooking that meat in there. Just kind of submerge that meat. And then we are going to serve up some pho. Oh my God, I'm excited for this. I cannot wait. It smells so delicious, you guys. I mean, it really smells delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's finish our dessert. All right, so, perfect. I'm gonna take, well, yeah, let me just put it in half real quick. I love these little parchment papers because they're perfect for what I need. All I have to do is just, you know, cut it in half. Let's bring it up just a little bit so you can kind of see my party little face. Okay. So these are perfect. Now, if you want to do it, you can do it a little bit longer that it goes on that side. But this is perfect because I can still grab it out. Now, we're going to take our deliciousness here. I'm going to grab, look at that. Oh, my goodness, it's nice and creamy. Okay. So I know there's a lot of chocolate there, but that's okay. We're gonna take this here. We're gonna just scrape all of that goodness off because we want that part of our deliciousness and none of it left behind. All right, and scrape as much as we can off. I mean, look at that. That's nice and creamy. Let me, look how creamy that is. And could you imagine if I had some of those chocolate chips and I put it in here with this? Ooh. Now, we're gonna take the sides of this, scoop out the rest of this yumminess. And like I said, this is a paleo um, recipe. And it is healthy, just for the record.
goodness, this is, I should have saved the bigger spatula for this because I feel like I'm making a hot mess, but that's okay. We're giving that soup some time. We are almost done with this. And then since I don't have the chocolate chips, now you can take, like I said, if you would, I had the chocolate chips, we would have put some in here and then put some on top of it as well. Um, which I thought was a great idea because I'm pretty sure it was gonna be absolutely creamy and dreamy and chocolatey, chocolatey delicious. Grab one more little scoop right there and now we're gonna call that a day. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you spread all of this out to all the corners. Spread this baby even. Get all of these lovely little corners. Spread it out. Oh my goodness. Now, I like my brownies with nuts in it. I like boy brownies. So, I'm going to finish smoothing this out, making sure it's pretty even. Look how delicious that is, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, I wanna scrape some off these sides here. Oh my goodness. This is going to be absolutely delicious. All right, let's get some of that goodness in there. I am like a chocolatey mess. Okay, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. And since I don't want to forget this time, I'm taking some of these nuts and I'm just going to put them on top. And these are just walnuts. And these are whole walnuts. You can chop them up if you want. I just want to kind of leave them whole and just put them on here. These just look delicious. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot wait to try these. Can't wait to try one of these. Mm, they're so delicious and so healthy. All right, we got our oven pre preheated to 350 already. We got our lined parchment paper. We've got our brownies and our goodness in here. Look at that. We're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, and we are going to bake it. It says bake for 15 minutes or until you stick a um, toothpick in it and it comes out clean. All right. All right, you guys, let's clean this up just a little bit so we can kind of check our check out our um, soup. My goodness, I made a mess tonight. I need to help have someone help me clean this kitchen. I mean, this kitchen is a hot mess. I mean, you should see it here in a minute. I mean, I already had it clean before we get started, but I don't know what happens when you start cooking. It just like becomes a hot mess. We got like chocolate everywhere. My goodness. All right. We'll make it our bowl. I know, I'm excited. I am way, way excited. All right, so I got our cute little bowl. Let's see how we bring, come here, come with me, guys. Let's check this out. 
we gotta check and see how this is. I mean, look at this, look at this huge mess I just made. Oh my goodness, I swear. Look, look at all these little pots. Ooh, look at that. That looks delicious, you guys. Oh my goodness. Let's put that there for a minute. Let's take this out. Look at that. See, I just wanted to make sure that this meat is cooked all the way. So as you can see, it needs a little bit more cooking. So we're gonna let it do its thing. But oh my God, doesn't that look delicious, you guys? I mean, just look at it. I mean, seriously, we could call that a day, but I want mine cooked a little bit longer. But, oh. Let's put the lid back on it. I mean, seriously, guys, doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. It looks just, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so when I was with my dad and my um, stepmom, she took me out to pho before I left. And because you know, we were talking about things. I swear the whole time we were down there, we talked about food. I swear that's the only thing we did is we ate a lot and we, we talked about food. I know, Ron, it does not look delicious. Oh my God, I can't wait to try it. So, when we were in there, um, there was a, um, a hazen sauce, which I had seen before and I looked on how you make it and I didn't want to get in any of it. I tried it in the soup. Oh my goodness, it was good. So, I had to go to the store and I had to get some. And actually, I just got it tonight because for some reason, I don't know, I thought I was gonna get it at the Asian market and I couldn't find it. But then again, half the stuff in the Asian market, I can't read. So, you know, silly me. Okay, so we got this baby ready. We're gonna put some of that in there. And we've got our limes. Okay, we got just a few more minutes. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. I can't wait to fill up this bowl with a bunch of goodiness. All right. You know what we forgot to put in the brownies? Oh my goodness. So, during Christmas time, I started, I went and I bought some uh, Madagascar um, vanilla beans. We forgot to put the vanilla in there. Silly me. Oh well, that's okay. We'll be fine. It still tasted good when I tasted it. So, I have a whole bunch of these. As a matter of fact, I have different kinds. This is a brandy vanilla. When I used this the other night, it was really good and I tasted it because I wanted to make sure I still had that vanilla taste because it usually says, you know, take about a year um, to let them soak and the beans and all that kind of good stuff. But I did, um, I did read too that after eight weeks it would be fine. So it's been way longer than eight weeks. It's been what, since December, like right before Christmas. So yeah, so December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, seven months about. So yeah, we're good. So anyways, forgot to put that in there. Silly me. All righty, let's check it out. Cause I think it's ready. At least I am hoping it's ready. Oh yeah, it's ready. Let's get this stuff in my belly. Yeah, that stuff needs to go in my belly. Oops, I forgot to turn that one off. Thank God I didn't stick my phone on that one. Woo. All righty. Let's get some of this soup. Oh yes, baby, come to mama. All right, so we're gonna get some of these noodles in there. There's probably more noodles than I need. I wanna get some of that beef in there. Oh yeah. And then we are gonna get this soup. Oh, you guys. This looks amazing. Wait, I am going to turn this off and we are gonna go over here and we are gonna have a pho good of a time. Okay, look at that pho. I probably overfilled it and I just leaked it, but look at that. All right, so this is what you do. You take a little bit of your parsley, sprinkle it on top. I should have used a bigger bowl. Or I should have put less. You're gonna sprinkle some of these yummy beans in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some of your lime. Squeeze some of your lime in there. Now, I didn't try this when I was at the restaurant, but that's okay, I'm trying it tonight. 
squeeze some of that in there. And when I did try this for the first time in there, oh, it was pretty amazing. I'm gonna put that a little bit on the side right there. Just a little. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Take this baby. I am spilling it everywhere. Hold on. That was a waste of a little bit of fun. It's okay, but look at this, you guys. Look how beautiful. Mix that in there. Mm. Oh my God. You guys, this is amazing. Holy cow. I don't think, okay. I have to say this is a little bit better making it homemade. Mm. Oh my God, that flavoring, it's like, it's perfect. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm like, seriously, I'm in heaven. This is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Mm. And that broth, with all, you know, I know I didn't put the cloves in there, but this still is amazing. I mean, it has so much flavor and it's so delicious. And I gotta try some of that meat too. Mm. You know, even with that, that meat, we only put a little bit of salt on it. It's delicious. I want a little bit more of this in there. This is like, to be honest, this is the reason why I wanted to make this is because I wanted to try this. Oh my God, you guys, it's delicious. I mean, it's delicious. Oh. Yeah, the first time I tried the, uh, the and I'm prob probably saying it wrong, but the hoisin sauce or hosen sauce or whatever it's called, when I tried it, I'm like, oh, this is delicious. And now I do have to say, when when we went and got the pho, I was pretty full from the lunch that we had. Because um, we had went and seen the gardens. The, um, you know, I keep putting this in here, but this stuff is so good. Mm. Oh, it was too big of a bite. Woo! Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. I have to stop because I'm going to look really bad just if I keep eating this. This is delicious. Mm. And you know what? Put some more of those babies in there. That is so delicious, you guys. You guys need to make this one. I will post the recipe. And, um, yeah. And we have, oh, that soup made my, run, my nose running. Oh. oh my goodness, that is so good, you guys. Oh, look at this again. Just look at that. Whoops, isn't that delicious? Let me see if I can do it a different way so I'm not spilling it everywhere. Okay, so I did say it right the first time. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just delicious and divine? Oh. And I'm telling you too, so I know when I've had it in, in there and just like tasting the sauce itself with all of that goodness, it's not too overpowering. And to be honest with you guys, it tastes like, it almost tastes better than going to the pho place. I'm just saying. And I'm, well, I can't say I'm not that good of a cook. I'm a good cook, but it's absolutely delicious. Mm. I could just eat this sauce forever. Oh my God, it is so good. All right, let's check on the brownies a little bit. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? All right. 
no more peeking. We are going to hang out for a few minutes. Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have like, so, all right, let me, let me go over this real quick. So I have a friend of mine. Um, I had met her a couple years ago. So through my church, we go to this singles thing and, um, her and her husband, you know, were part of the, this, this group of the singles that we're in through our church. And so I'm trying to clean up here a little bit so I don't get myself too messy. So, um, she had, they had moved away and they kind of moved on and did a few other things, but, um, they're moving back and she had went on this weight loss program and I've had a, a few other friends that have done the same program as her and now she's become like, I believe you call it like a life coach. Um, but I've had a few other friends that are in her singles as well that, had started the same thing, reached out to her and she had posted a recipe for a, like a veggie taco kind of dish. So I'm going to make that this next Wednesday. It looks absolutely delicious. It looks yummy. So, um, I'm going to make that. And then I will also put, if anyone is interested on doing, and I'll, I'll get the name of what the program is. I just, I can't think of what it's called right now. So if anyone, wants, if anyone wants to do it, we can give a shout out to her. I will ask her if it's okay to put, you know, her phone number on there for her and if you guys want to reach her. Um, and, I, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple that you don't have to, you know, meet in person with them. They can probably, you know, do stuff over the internet and stuff like that. So anyways, I thought it would be a great way um, to kind of put her out there because she does post some really good delicious um, dishes. And it's kind of like a right up my alley of, you know, how I cook too. Because like I said, I try and make things, you know, as healthy as possible. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't put sugar in this and it had, you know, asked to put some sugar in. Now, I can't tell the difference. Now, well, yeah, it would probably make it a little bit more sweeter. But, yeah. I, I, I can't really tell a difference, to be honest with you. Sorry, my dog is whining and wants to, wants to eat while I'm eating. My dog likes to eat when I eat. I know I say this all the time, but he's a little weird. He's a social eater. So if I'm up on the counter kind of like talking like how I am, he thinks I'm eating, so he needs to eat. So, yeah. And he was whining and playing with his bowl. Um, so anyways, I can put her information on here. If somebody wants to reach out to her, you guys can. Um, I'll see if I can take some pictures of her, for, or take some of her pictures and just kind of show you before and after. Um, I just want to make sure I get her permission before I do that. But, um, and she's an absolutely sweet, loving, amazing person. I love her and her husband. We've had some great, wonderful talks. Um, and yeah, they're great people. So um, we'll do that next week. Um, I will post what it's called. Now, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, but even for this one here, when I was posting it, I was trying to put, you know, when I create my events, I try and put... Um, a picture of what I'm making, but for some reason it's not, and it's doing something weird. So anyways, um, I will go ahead and create a post for what we're gonna make and what it's called, and yeah, we'll cook that. So we have, it's ready. Okay, oh my goodness, you guys, you have, ah. Now we do have to let this cool down a bit. But look at that, look how delicious and yummy that is. I don't wanna take it out yet because you have to let it cool. So, but I'm like, I can show you a sneak peek, but look at that. Look how delicious that is going to be. Oh, you guys, I am really excited to try this one. Like I said, I was experimenting the other day and I made one with um, bananas and it was absolutely delicious. Let me show you those, hold on. Okay, so these are my avocado ones that we just made. So I did the other night, because like I said, I've been kind of experimenting to do something new with you guys. I know, don't those look good? So they're paleo. I don't think they're, Leanne, I will have to check and see if they are, they should be. I'm like, I don't see why you can't have them if they're, if they're keto free. I know it said paleo, but anyways, these ones I know aren't keto because they're made with bananas. But again, there's no flour or anything, but look how beautiful and nice and thick that is. And look at that, it's, they're pretty moist. They're delicious and like, they're yummy. Yeah, these are my banana ones. So I will post, 
Um, I will post the recipe for both of them. Um, if you guys want to make them, go ahead and make them. They are delicious. Matter of fact, um, my sister, one of my sisters came this last weekend. I believe it was on Sunday. She came over along with Pappy and um, they stopped by and had dinner and I had them try it. They loved it. My roommate tried it and she actually had two of them. So, and I'm telling you, if my roommate wants to have more, we know they're good because yeah, she loves them. And then I also experimented, which I think I know where I kind of messed up on them. I made, um, I know, I can't wait to see you this weekend either, Leanne. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So my best friend, we've known each other for like a million years. Um, she's coming up this weekend. We're gonna take a little road trip of where we grew up and I am so super excited. One, to go up there and then hey, also, I don't know if you know, but you might wanna call your mother-in-law and see if we can still get up to where she's at or find the way that we can get up there because there's a huge fire up there. So sorry, sidetrack. So um, it wasn't contained. My sister said it wasn't contained. It was really, really smoky up there. So yeah, so we might wanna double check that. I'll call you later and we'll, we'll talk about it too. So anyways, she's coming this weekend. I haven't seen her, it's been a year. I think it's been a year. So I'm excited to see her um, and my nephew. Um, let's see, what else? Okay. So I think that's it. So, okay, back to some food real quick. Sorry, I'm, I get excited. Me and my best friend, if you guys ever see us together, she knows so much dirt on me and I know some dirt on her too. Really, it's been, oh, oh yes, you know what? I guess it has been two years because last year, no one can go anywhere. Silly me. What was I thinking? We lost a whole year. Um. So um. anyways, her and I grew up together, grew up in a small little town. Her grandma would watch my two younger sisters and I have the best memories with her. Darn Skippy. <laughs> Darn Skippy, she's got some dirt on me. Um, but yeah, I mean like she's, I keep her, really I keep her my best friend cause she does have so much dirt on me that you know what, you gotta keep your enemies close. No, just joking. Um, but yeah, no, and I, I can't wait to see my nephew. Um, he he gets to get see a whole different experience, you know, with with us together. Okay. Anyways, back to food real quick again. All right. All right. So I have pictures of these, and these again I will show recipes or you know post recipes too. So I made these, and they were supposed to be meatballs, but as you can see they thinned out when I put it in and I think I figured out what it is and why they didn't stay as meatballs, but that's okay. They are now my my zucchini chips instead of my zucchini. Um, they're supposed to be zucchini um, bites, but I kind of like it that they turn into uh, little chip type things. But I think the reason why they did that is because I put cheese in it and it probably just melted and just kind of went down. Um, I would, instead of using breadcrumbs, I was also using almond flour, um, which is fine because you can you can if you want to make it keto that's how you make it keto so um, but yeah and they're all fresh herbs and stuff like that from my garden and let me tell you they're pretty amazing my roommate again she loved them too and she liked it um, but anyways um, I will post a recipe for that and I will leave out the cheese because well I mean I can experiment again but I'm I kind of like it at the chips but you can dip it in marinara sauce you can dip it in um, I don't know, any kind of sauce that you want to. You can leave them plain. Like I had mine with a little bit of um, sour cream on top of it, but it's really delicious. So um, I will post the recipe for that too. Um, let's see, I think that's that's the only thing I've been experimenting with this week were these kind of things. So that is it. Um, let me see, is it cool enough? Nope, it's not cool enough. So I will show some pictures of this. I do have to let this cool for a bit especially with this kind of um when you're making this you do have to let it cool it's not like the regular brownies where you can hurry up and jump into them and and you know slice them open and, and whatnot um with this kind of stuff with it being flourless you do have to let it cook for a bit so anyways i will take some pictures of this as well i um will post the recipe and i'll post the recipes for all the other stuff but other than that you guys that is it for tonight we made some yummy yummy delicious pho soup yum 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 and we made my nephew which i did not see on here i saw one of my nephews 
um, but I didn't see the one that was that wanted to see me making a healthy brownie that would blow his mind. So I'm gonna call his mom and tell him that he has to go watch this so his mind can be blown. All right, anyway, <laughs> um, I love my nephews and I love my nieces. Um, they're, I got an amazing family, I love them all. And we're all cookie and dorky and goofy and whatever else, but you know what, we're all pretty awesome. So anyways, I will take a picture of this. This is our beautiful little healthy avocado brownies. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try these either. Because I did make an avocado pudding once before and it was absolutely delicious. So I can't wait to see how this works. All right, you guys, have a great night. Thank you for watching Cooking with Amy. Be safe, have fun. It's still summertime. Live your best life and go on adventures and enjoy them. Love you guys and we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.